basically the sound coverage in here would split down into about three or four particular components. Uh, there would be effects mics. There would be effects mics for the dartboard and we would contrive to get the sound of the dart hitting the board. And for that, we would probably use an ECM50, which is a little personal mic, secreted behind the board. And that would be really nice to get the thump of the dart as it hits the, uh, hits the dart board. In addition to that, still on effects, we would have a general effects mic which would pick up the audience, the applause, the reaction, and I would use that generally to create a darts-type atmosphere in the room. And then another component would be the commentary box, very important, where the commentator would sit with, and he would have communications requirements as well as just speaking into a lip microphone and he would have a pair of headphones and the ability to talk back without it going out on the air. Another microphone talking back to the scanner, which is colloquially called a lazy talkback mic, because it's just you casually pick it up and speak into it. In addition to that, we may have interviews, and so we would want a stick mic. We'll have a stick mic over in a certain area. Mm, it's around here. Yeah. It's, it's, it's it around here. We have, a, have a stick, stick mic. mic. And that, on this occasion, for, for this particular event, would also be used for the scorer. So that, that would be the basic sound setup. In addition to that, we would have communications so that people could hear what's going on in the scanner. They were able to hear talk back. And in, most importantly, the stage manager, who is the, the director's ears and eyes and voice on the floor, would be able to hear the director and be able to speak back to him.